Welcome, Marcus, to this episode of uh, Amin Forecast, and great to have you here on uh, this edition. Thank you much, Adit. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, what, we'll go into maybe a little bit of detail about what you do or more about the organization in a bit. But uh, before we go into that, I'd like to know, you know, how has your journey been in the domain of additive manufacturing? It is a bit a long answer because, you know, I'm about 25 years ago, I started at EOS and had my first touch point with rapid prototyping and rapid tooling at that point in time. Uh, and I started at EOS as a sales manager. And, you know, if you take this 25 years, I can split in two time periods. The first 10, 15 years is more about AM enabled innovative solutions for prototyping. It was a period which was characterized by constant technology and material development. It had one goal to achieve technology maturity for the use of AM in production. And then also in the very beginning, it was an extreme innovation. All six, 12 months, there was a new product. So to transfer this extreme innovation to a more and more robust technology balanced with the right level of innovation. And also coming from a pioneer environment and from a customer industry education, which was at the many first 10 years, to forward to the first AM production project. And indeed, we achieved this first seal reduction application in metal, and that was 2004, where we developed a solution for dental and copings and bridges in metal. And if you take the next 10 years, it was more the technology has come out of age, it's becoming a serious alternative to conventional manufacturing for volume production. It was serial production applications which appeared in almost all industries, especially aerospace, healthcare, energy, consumer good. And also the AM industry was recognized and respected as a key important future industry. And then let's say from now on, from the last, let's say one, two, three years on, it's, it's the time or the right time that the AM industry gets out of this niche and scales the market with potential end-to-end -end solution. Because this we have really to manage now in order to use it, the according, reliable, and optimized AM technology. And AM factories are established, as we all know, that integrated AM, but also other conventional technologies, software solutions are key to, integ to integrate all this in a single factory or in factories around the globe. It means also distributed production is becoming key to reduce global supply chain dependence is what we all learned during the pandemic. And of course, then benefits like reduce warehouse costs, reduce sh shipping costs, adapt products to individual or regional requirements are of course becoming more and more important. And as well, the sustainability aspect that this actually turned the last one to two years dramatically becomes more and more an important factor by making investment decision for manufacturing technology. And also intelligent innovations, which are balanced more and more now on robustness about quality, sustainability will continue to guide us in everything we do to develop dedicated solutions for our customers. So to think more in entire end-to-end -end solutions, partly even beyond the AM value chain. And it means further industrialization of the technology and integration in the entire digital value chain of a digital factory means we can reduce cost per part and achieve the best part quality monitoring. And last, I think there is a, a strong need for certified contact manufacturer. And I think this is also a great initiative what is happening in UAE with your support that since more and more OEMs are now ready to roll out AM from insourcing to outsourcing. Now they are now feel confident. Yes, now it's the right time. We test the technology. Now we can outsource it to the contact manufacturer. I think that's 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 quite a, a long journey and it must have been quite an interesting journey as well for the last 20, 25 years. AM has changed a lot uh, and each stage there is a different challenge and a different opportunity. Uh, so uh, for you, uh, let's say, you know, turning our focus to the Middle East, uh, what are the major areas of focus uh, in the Middle East for you and for the US? I mean, now we started about six, seven years ago in the Middle East. Uh, quite early because we believe in this region. I think this region is a wonderful region. I think it has a lot of potential. Of course, at the moment, there's a lot to do to create 
awareness to create the market for AM. But I think it's uh, the key areas where we are active now is, uh, of course, United Emirates, we have Saudi Arabia, we have Oman, we have Egypt and other growing markets. So where we're focusing. And I think a, a big topic was, you know, which are the industries where we can get in? Where can we grow? Where we can start growing on the easy way? Yeah? And an easy way, I believe, is gas and oil. If you take now uh, UAE, uh, gas and oil is, of course, strong in UAE. We have the mobility side, you know, with all these aircraft manufacturers in UAE. We have uh, obviously then aerospace in general. We have new energy solutions, which also fits very well to the sustainability activities in UAE. And we have, of course, also construction. And all these, they show good potential in scaling AM for production. But at the end, you know, what is still lacking? And we had this many, many years and long time also in the remaining areas of Europe or also North America. Here it's a bit uh, of course, here's a bit more to do. That's the topic education. Uh, to multiply AM experts in different functions, this is a big gap today. And there we have to work together. And EOS therefore works with partners, for instance, UAE, to educate students in university, as well as people which want to move into AM. And education topics are, for instance, you know, to learn in AM design, to learn in AM operation, to learn how to screen conventional parts to find appropriate parts for M production. And what we want to do here is we want to establish with a local partner an innovation center in UAE to combine the education arm and to develop sustainable end-to-end -end solutions, which will transfer it afterwards to the local AM production partner. And this is my was my personal vision and my personal target to achieve this together. Yeah, I think that's that's quite a holistic view at how you're looking at the Middle East and how to grow the you know manufacturing focus itself. And uh, of course, the region is changing as well, and that their focus for manufacturing is increasing. So it's I think it's an exciting time for additive manufacturing to be here in this region. Um, so uh, you know we are about two weeks away from the first inaugural AM conclave, which is you know looking to get some of these stakeholders together to have a common platform. Uh, what can we expect from EOS at AM Conclave? So what we want to do is, and um, I think we will focus on three topics. On the one hand side, uh, we will really show amazing additive manufacturing use cases. This in the gas and oil industry, which I just said, is definitely one focus area. Yeah. We will also have one of our key customers, uh, the company Etihad Engineering, on board, which gives a speech about additive manufacturing innovation interiors. And I think this is also very important, and this will be a big part also to provide insights about sustainable AM solutions. Uh, you know, our local approach in accordance with the sustainable year, which is new year now, and the COP28. And this will be a big topic, you know, because there is a lot of things to discuss. And that was what we prepared over the last two years. So there is a lot of things I can mention during this great AM conclave event. Sure, sure. And, and what are what are the, you know, uh, key things, maybe the top three things you are looking at uh, forward to for AM Conclave uh, this year? I think for me, the AM Conclave is set by you, by AM Chronicle and by AM Tech. And I think for me, AM Chronicle is for me one of the most experienced market experts with Swiss and ME as with the Middle East. Yeah. And Therefore, the partner for EOS also. And I think there are three top benefits. I mean, one have stolen from your homepage, Adita, you know, the, to connect the entire additive manufacturing and 3D printing ecosystem in the Middle East on one platform, including, you know, as you said, government users, software providers, hardware, material manufacturers, research and standards and certification. So this is really, really good. And this is also outstanding for this event, I must say. And then also to have the right industry focus by having, and this you can also see in your target group, by having the ability to exchange a network with the according valuable companies at the venue. Um, because networking and having, especially also in the Middle East and having this exchange is very important, but I need to do it, of course, with the right companies and with the right industries and all of them are on this event. And then, of course, I think it's a great thing to provide, provide an excellent mix between technology update and business information. Yeah, and uh, in that sense, for instance, also, you know, um, 
one one let's say sneaker is um you know which I also would ask okay have you heard about tone management applications yeah in uh, an am and i must say this is a curious topic which i will definitely give more insights during the event in uae in two weeks great great and and i think we look forward to meeting you in person and uh, your team as well and uh, thanks for joining us for this podcast today thank you very much adita